हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल प्रिंस ऑटोमेशन डेस्टिनेशन दिस साइड प्रिंस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू डिजाइन प्लेराइट जावास्क्रिप्ट बेस्ड फ्रेमवर्क फ्रॉम स्क्रैच विद द हेल्प ऑफ एआई टूल दैट इज बोल्ट न्यू एआई टूल एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ बोल्ट न्यू एआई टूल वी प्रीवियसली कवर्ड designing of test and based framework in case you want to understand how to design test and based framework with the help of bolt new ai tool you can check out the same in i icon and today let us discuss about playwright framework development with the help of this particular tool so this is the interface right that we are going to define so as i just mentioned so we'll be talking about playwright test automation framework with bolt ai right so bolt.new is the ai tool that we are going to utilize right so i'm going here right and it offers some free tokens right so if i go to settings right so i'll see that 904k token are left for the month so for every month we get 1m 1 million i believe tokens right and out of this 904k i have already consumed 95k for the current day so for every day we will get 150k for the entire month we get 1m right so my invoicing is free right so i'm going to utilize this particular framework right so as we discussed that these tools right in the background works or interacts with the llm right okay so now uh when we want to talk to these tools right we need to send a prompt right and what is prompt the way of instructing way of instructing the ai tool to get the desired output so for example i am going to write act as playwright javascript expert and design one test automation framework framework from scratch for this particular application right so i'll be giving it this particular information right and then after following are the specifications right so we need playwright framework with javascript right we want to follow page of deck model test classes and configuration file right that's it so let us see whether it will be able to develop this particular framework from scratch so it has started thinking so based on our requirement it is explaining i'll create a comprehensive playwright test automation framework so the important part about this particular framework is this particular bolt new ai tool is on the right hand side it start showing whatever it is developing right so it has first of all created the initial files it has created package.json which is similar to pom.xml if we are working with maven uh, based automation framework it is now uh, talking about install dependencies creating the config file this is very important file in playwright so i have some high level understanding of playwright so this is the configuration file of playwright so it is now creating test data now test configuration as we have instructed to create the page object model so it is first creating base page login page and it would be creating the pages for all, all the pages of this particular application right so let us wait for it so this particular base page is created login page is created inventory page is created cart page dot js is created right so this is how it is working right similarly it will create all the pages so let us wait for it to complete right meanwhile we can read this particular statement so based on your requirement i'll create a comprehensive playwright test automation framework for this using javascript implementing the page object model with proper test organization and configuration core configuration clean page object model architecture for maximum reusability and maintainability comprehensive test cases so it is mentioning all these things right if whatever the utility is needed so it is using right design element modular file structure right okay so this is what it is writing now it has created all the pages it has created one utility now it has started creating the test cases so under tests you can see that it has started creating the test cases so this is how we define the test cases login.spec.js so this is how we define the test cases 
right i'll come to this soon so we will try to understand what exactly this playwright framework as per what of whatever understanding i'm having regarding playwright as of today so corresponding to each page it is now creating the test cases for that particular page so this is the end to end test case so by looking at this particular flow right we will get some idea how we can design the framework by ourselves as well right so now you see it has completed the framework right let us ignore this we are not worried about it right so it has completed everything now let us export this particular project so that we can utilize it into one of the editor right let us click on export and click on download so it will download the entire project we can choose the files of our use but we are going to use everything for now right but later we can remove whatever is not needed right because this bolt new ai tool is developed for the full fledged application development right but we are mostly worried about test automation framework design right so we need some specific files so we can use those files and discard the other files let's let us give it name test bolt ai right and extract it after that let us give the project name as playwright bolt right so let me now navigate to this particular editor which is visual studio code right now let us <coughs> add that uh, project into the workspace so for that purpose we'll be going into this test bolt ai and this is the framework that we have just downloaded right let us trust this and as soon as you will click on trust you will start seeing this particular project is imported right so it has defined the config right test config test data which would be required by the test cases and as we instructed it has created the page object model where it has defined base page right where it is taking base url as source demo because we have de defined this particular source demo because we wanted to create i mean the test framework for this particular application it has created pages for all the pages it has defined the locators right checkout page meaning everything is done so so quickly right src is of no use right because uh, we are not working for the front end so it might be something related to application code so we are not worried about it let us go to test because we instructed to have separate test classes so corresponding to each page we have the test classes let us go into login spec that uh, login.spec.js so this is how playwright define the test cases right so it is calling the pages right creating the constructor of it right logging into the application right and expecting uh, something right so this is how it has defined the test cases so this is login functionality right this is the overall suit right this is how the test cases test suit is defined in playwright right then this is should login with this is one test case right and this is another test case this is another one right so it has created so many test cases under each of these classes right it has created utils as well helper where it has created one random message right whatever is needed it has created those methods right now the important thing is if you are from java background so we have pom.xml if you are working in maven and if we will have build or gradle in case we are from gradle right so in case of not bit not based uh, like frameworks we have package.json where we define the dependencies so the dependencies are defined here right and then after uh, it has defined the scripts as well so we can execute the test cases from here so playwright test uh, is used to execute the test cases npx is the command which is used right so we can run those commands so let me show you so this is the configuration file right where it is it has imported playwright slash test and for parallel execution we don't need to do much so for parallel we need to simply make it as true and here we need to provide the workers workers are like threads so it has retries functionality as well we don't need to explicitly define that for field test cases we need to like re-execute the field test cases right so this functionality is given by the playwright by itself right so retries so it is giving two like whatever will give it will do that so it is by default integrating html list right so these are two type of reports we can include a lower report as well right this is the use uh, things right now um one thing is these projects right so name is chromium so it has defined uh projects right so name chromium for chrome this is the project which is defined if we want to execute the test cases in chrome if we want to execute test cases in firefox this is the way right this is the project webkit is similar to safari this is uh mobile chrome 
mobile safari right so playwright work with the rendering engines right rendering engines is like for example we have chrome browser chrome browser in the background deals with the chromium based rendering engine right so playwright runs the test cases on that particular rendering engine right so only thing which is missing here is uh, i think it forgot to add is devices right so let me add devices so this is how we define devices and we need desktop chrome right and before using this particular devices we will have to import these devices here as well right so devices right now what we need to do we need to first of all download the dependencies as like we do it in maven so let me click here go to terminal and click on new terminal and let me close the previous terminals right and here i will choose cmd right and let us run the command npm install right so you see that it has started downloading the dependencies under node modules so this particular area where this particular project will refer to these libraries right so let us wait for this to complete So it is taking some time because it has so many dependencies right also you need to sometimes run npx playwright install right because we need to install playwright right so playwright actually as i mentioned that it runs in the rendering engines so it will be downloading its own engines right it on its own browser rendering engines right so in my case it would be already there because i was trying so many pocs right but you will have to run this particular command now to execute the test cases <clears throat> we will have to use npx playwright test so this is the command right so if you will hit this it will execute all the test cases under this particular, particular test why because it has defined the test directory as root right slash test under test whatever the folder it will get it will consider them as a test cases right and fully parallel equal to true so it will run all the test cases in parallel right so we'll have to provide the thread count here right right which would be workers right so we'll will come to that part as well right now for example we want to execute a specific uh class right so for example i want to execute lo login right so login dot spec dot js so the motive of the current lecture is that whatever the framework which is defined by this particular bolt new ai tool that is in working state right so i'm not going to dive deep into how playwright works right for that i i may be separately covering a separate series right so uh npx playwright test login dot spec dot js so we are going to execute all the test cases of this particular class right also what we want we want to execute them in chrome only right so what i will do is i'll come here and we'll copy this particular project so this is how we can define the project and also by default if i want uh, if if i'll run my test cases in playwright they will run in headless mode right in case we want to run them in uh, interactive mode we'll have to provide head it right now let me execute this particular one and see whether it is able to execute the test cases in parallel or not right so you see it is running seven test cases using four workers so you see it is not similar to chrome browser right so it is similar to rendering uh, engine right <clears throat> so you see it is executing and if you would have noticed for failed test cases it is retrying also right if there is a failed test case it will retry as well right now it has executed all the test cases and now we can generate the report as well so for that purpose we'll have to click here and simply click on run npx playwright test playwright show report and it will publish the report on one of the browsers so let us see so you see these are the test cases which got executed right so this is how we can verify that this playwright framework is working right so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current lecture where we discussed how to develop a framework for playwright with javascript with the help of bolt new ai tool so now you will be wondering how quickly we can design a framework from scratch so thank you once again for watching and i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again